Hello everybody, my name is Annalay and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Sims 4 build in Windenburg. So the thoughts here for this video, basically I was planning on doing a small Tudor home, like Tudor-esque home, and I was really struggling with just like the overall layout and the interior theme. So you could see me kind of humming and hawing over some of my like decision choices because I didn't really know what I was going to do. But I figured here I was going to place like a small patio and again I have to keep things simple because it's a starter home. Which is kind of the hard part because we're working with a very small budget and that is 20,000 smoleons. So I had to try and make the home look as good as I could with as little like building materials as possible, like furniture, the walls, etc, etc. The lot is relatively large, so it just, I had a lot of room to work with and personally I think a little too much room to work with for a starter home. But you know, The Sims gave us a large lot, so you're gonna make use of it as best, of you, as, best as you can. And like, the way the house is like built, it's very um, quaint and dainty. I, I tried to go with like a bachelor cottage feel in Windenburg, which is one of my favorite worlds in The Sims 4. So the packs that are used in this one are literally base game, a little bit of cottage living, get together, and just a smidge of Strangerville because I was trying to fit the overall theme of the area itself, which I think I kind of failed to do. But you can find me on the Sims Gallery and I do have items, not items, houses that I had constructed um, that fit the theme a little more fully than what I've done here. Because I very much like the, the whole medieval Victorian cottage look that they got going on. I think it's really cute. But this doesn't quite have that. It's closer to like a farmhouse. Like a medieval farmhouse. Just a smidge. Um, it's still cute. But I find like it doesn't really match like the overall theme. So I'm probably going to do a second pass on this particular lot with a different build at some point simply because I just want it to overall match and have it like a proper like starter home in quotations uh, that fits the theme because right now this kind of like sticks out like a sore thumb but you could see right now I'm like struggling a little bit with what I'm planning I don't really know what to do for the interior I've been winging it the whole time but like I said my brain was going let's make a bachelor right so we're gonna have a double bed present in this build and I'm kind of like going back and forth on different swatches because I don't quite really know what to make but like my heart was totally set on that fireplace because I thought it was really cute I wanted to do these like dark gray windows but like I didn't really get a feel for them later down the road you're going to see that I change it a little bit but I'm trying to keep like this particular like starter home build as friendly as I can the good thing about this house though is like there's room to grow yeah it's treated like a single maybe two sim house you know a little bachelor like you would expect but like the way it's designed, you could easily add extensions or even a second floor, so like, it's it's no big deal. It's easy to manage. But again, this bookcase that I added, it was like the only one that really matched and kind of like got out of the way. So I end up moving that one later because I think of something else entirely and I was trying to figure out like, where could I put a desk? And that didn't work out for me. Um, so there's no desk here. I tried to keep it bare minimum. I know it kind of like drives me bonkers having a bunch of like extra accessories that I don't need in a home. Especially like when I have an idea in mind for a sim. So there's not much for skills because that's the kind of thing I would rather have people decide for themselves in a starter home instead of having it be selected for me. So I didn't add uh, much for skills besides the book 
And you'll see here shortly a laptop because I was like, if I can't have a desk, let's just throw in a laptop because it's at least portable. Um, but I think I did a pretty good job making it look presentable despite it being a relatively small building with very little going for it. I'm not good at builds. I'm, I'm like relatively like new to it and just doing simple things like this is kind of a struggle for me. So I'm just doing the best that I can with the skills that I've got. And I will admit, like some of the people who build on the Sims Gallery are so good at building. It blows my mind every time. Like how do they do it? What is their thought process? Like the fact that they could sit there and build these beautiful structures for hours just blows my mind. And I wish all the time that I could do stuff like that, but I get so discouraged. Um, we're going with a blue bathroom. I got sidetracked, my apologies. Well, the whole house in general is a blue teal-ish color, and I find that Max, like the Sims team, just like does a terrible job at making sure like their swatches match. Like the teal on the bed isn't the same as the teal on the couch. And it's like, really? Like you couldn't have put a little bit more effort, but that's just me. Like I would like to have a little more like cohesiveness between all of the swatches, but like beggars can't be choosers. Um. I end up changing my mind on this exterior wall, actually, like the like the swatch for the exterior wall. I didn't like it. I know I wanted to do like a cobblestone theme with it, but it just wasn't my jam. Like I did go with like a cobble, but not this one, mostly because I didn't like the way the frame at the bottom looked, especially outside. So that one I'm going to end up doing away with it in the future. Um, I'm here choosing the swatches for the other walls again. I end up going with a light grayish blue instead of like going with anything particularly fancy. And here I was trying to find a swatch with like a baseboard that actually matched the gray on the stone baseboard. But there isn't anything like at all. So that was a struggle. And there was absolutely no reason for it. You'd think the Sims team would think it through a little bit better, but they do not. It is what it is. Again, beggars can't be choosers. Um, so to make the baseboards match a little bit better, that's when you're gonna see me change. I love dark wood floors. Here, I was deciding between two different, like two different styles of like dark hardwood, and I finally settled on the thicker hardwood than the thinner ones. And here, I was trying to match at least like the undertones of the wall with the flooring and the bathroom because the flooring has a like a cool tone gray coupled with a like a warm tone beige which was a little harder to work with but because the ba the, the gray was like a stronger uh grayish color like there was it was much more present i decided to like just play with the light tones instead of the dark tones um I love these windows from Get Together, by the way. Like, The Sims needs more stained glass windows. And the fact that there isn't more breaks my heart. So, I decided to go with a neutral exterior. I think it was a good decision. And you can see that's when I kind of changed my mind entirely on the front. And again, they, they, give up, they give us this pillar. But, like, there's no appropriate swatch with that same texture that actually matches. Like... I end up using the white one, but it doesn't match the white pillar despite it being the same stone. Like, make it make sense, please. Uh, so to match the neutral exterior, I changed the color of the windows. I was really digging the gray, but I decided to just kind of like change my mind and go with it in a, in like the brown with the, with the red windows. Super pretty. I love it. But yeah, you're going to notice that I don't really use shortcuts, and that's mostly because I can't fucking remember them. So let's just pretend that I actually use shortcuts and not pay attention to my ineptitude. Ooh, I put a little tree here, and my thought with the tree was to put like a little seating space, which I do a little bit later, and I thought it was really cute. Here I didn't know what to do because the front was a little bit empty, but I ended up putting the planter, like, the planter boxes in the front. Not this one. Yeah, you, you see it here in a moment. But I thought that looked cute. But again, it's a starter home, so I can't exactly go all out with the design. But I think I was doing good. And I forgot to put a sink in the bathroom, which, not the bathroom, the kitchen, which kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. But 
when you guys in download the uh, build to like to your own world, feel free. I'm currently in the process of completely redesigning Windenburg, so maybe later I'll do some like a tour video of the builds that I have worked on for Windenburg that could also be found on my gallery. Uh, here, I decided to outline the uh, like the lot itself, mostly because like it just wouldn't be a perfect seam like that. It would have like some soil between the grass and the, the cobblestone. So I decided to fill that in with like just a little bit of soil, give it a little more depth. And I end up doing that with the front of the house with the path too. Again, keeping it nice, fresh, and simple. I think I forgot to put an out tier like an exterior garbage can. So you know what? When you get around to it, maybe you should put that in too. I'm a little forgetful. But yeah. I end up putting a stone path here, which I think is really cute. And then I colored in the like the, the center portion of the cobblestone path to make it look like it was well tread, which I think was, you know, a pretty good idea on my part. I think I, good, I did a decent job with the starter home. But there are some things I forgot, but at least I didn't forget a mailbox. So nobody's got a mailbox spawning in the middle of their house. But yeah, cute, simple build. I suck with exterior design, but again, I'm not as experienced with this stuff as a lot of other builders. So I think I did pretty good. It's cute. I love it. Some nice, beautiful flowers to complement the outside, bring it a little bit of life, a little pop of color, because the neutrality on the exterior is a little bland, I know. But I was still trying to go for that like small bachelor cottage look that I really think is super precious. And now I'm moving over to the tree to work on the little exterior sitting area beneath the tree. I kept it really simple, nothing fancy, just a little bench with some flowers, a little light. But again, it's a starter home. I can't go too extravagant with some of my ideas, so hopefully in the future with this much space, I'll like redesign something and make it match like the the theme of the neighborhood a little better i think i did great for the limitations that i was dealing with i think i was doing really good Twenty thousand simoleons isn't a lot to work with so i think i made use of this space quite well i love that painting by the way i'm really glad they included it in the game and i kind of wish we had more weathered furniture like the dresser Oh, and curtains in this game are absolutely awful. Like, why is the Sims team dropping the ball on curtain selection? They need to do, like, a a whole, like, once-over on the curtain selection. Maybe look up some references and, like, give us some, like, good ones. So I end up settling for these ones because the window is large and it doesn't really have nice ones that fit. So I like to double up those that particular type of curtain in my homes because they're just so versatile. But I love the, the gray, blue, and dark wood look that I've got going on. It's so cozy. But I also try to avoid clutter in my homes. I don't like clutter. I like my sims to be able to move freely, get around as best as they can. But still look somewhat lived in and usable. Uh, I, I tried to add that flower pot into the corner, but it didn't really fit because it was too large. I like adding a lot of greenery to my houses, but... I was limited for currency, so I couldn't add as much plant life as I wanted to, and there was not much space to work within the kitchen, so I kept things simple. I end up changing my mind on those plates and the tool by the fireplace just because it was just expensive and it was cheaper to put in other things than that, despite absolutely loving the aesthetic. I kind of gave up with the whole putting the pot on the the, wind, the sill of the fireplace just because I got frustrated with it. I could have put a flat screen up there, but I was like, eh, whatever. And I love these little uh, pictures, by the way. I think they're super cute. Not all things have to be complicated or flashy. Sometimes simplicity is key. So I like the, like wild look sometimes i'm not big on like curated gardens i think nature just looking as it is is the most beautiful so i kind of did like this wild flower thing around the base of the tree 
but and purple's my favorite color so like a lot of my builds definitely make use of the color purple i very much prefer cool tones the firefly i think was a good addition ever since they added like fireflies into the game i've been looking for pretty much any excuse under the sun to add them into the game i can't help it they're cute but we're coming to the end of the build here i should be very i should be done very very soon look at that cutie I'm just cleaning up some things I have forgotten. So that's the build. If you like it, you can find it on the Sims Gallery under the name Analay. You can also find me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. However, I don't really use my Instagram as often as I probably should, but you'll always find me on Twitch and Twitter. Um, don't forget to join the community, which can also be found through my Twitch channel. So if you wanna come and hang out in Discord, feel free. So I hope you guys like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.